Hey guys, Trey Niven here, Top 50 UK coach. I'm joined with a very special guest of mine, Jay. Uh, we also got the Out of Bounds show, which uh, we've been hosting at the minute. We've just been playing a few holes out at Hadley Wood, amazing golf course, amazing weather today. Spotted a couple things in your swing, Jay. <laughs> just so, a couple? Just a couple, yeah. All right. Not um, giving you too many though, because I don't want you to get too good. Oh, well, I need you to show me how good you are. Okay. So these tips could yeah. potentially get my handicap down. Which is what now, at the minute? 6.7. 6.7, I've done okay. some work in the winter. Yeah. Um, things are looking good, I'm improving. Um, but obviously, you say you're a top 50 golf course yeah, we're, coach. We're going to get well, you show, down. Show me I, I think if I give you some tips, we're going to get down to five and below. Yeah? Deal? Deal. Tell you what, Jay, strike perfect. A little bit right there. And off balance. Yeah. Do you think that's something you see in your game typically? Yeah, I don't feel confident. You know, there's some days you turn up and, you know, you, you feel good with your driver, but yeah. more often than not, I don't feel confident from tee to fairway. Yeah. When I'm on the fairway, I feel really good and I think that's why my scores are low. Yeah. If I can improve on my tee shot, uh -huh. I think my, my score will come down dramatically. So that's okay. what I struggle with, I think. Just hit one more drive for us, Jay, but I think driver's got to be the one that we, uh, we look at today. It's a good shot, actually. Well done. So I think, again, you hit some really good tee shots. You hit, I would say, more shots right yeah. than left. Yeah. But you can still have a bit of a left miss as well, can't yeah. you? But like it's the right shot we got to probably look at first. Yeah, it's like that kind of, sometimes I just like, you know, that kind of knuckleball yeah, yeah. to and the it right draw. Yeah, yeah, that so one. Firstly, in that, what's really important to understand, especially for the people at home, is if it's a directional miss, say right or left, what do you think is causing that? What's the physics? What's happening at impact to cause that, do you think? Well, my face is going to be closed or 100%, open, right? yeah. So yeah. you've got to go straight to the club face. Yeah. If it's right, left, high or low, it's generally where the loft's pointing. Yeah. So you've got to think, okay, how do we potentially, if it's low, less loft, if it's right, it's also closed. Yeah. So how do we bring that club face back and get it, get it straight? So I think just looking at your swing out on the course and just on a video then, just set yourself up to as if you was going to hit one. Good, hold that there. And just take the club back to my hand here. Great, so this part for you, if we slow the video down, what you saw, you saw your grip start to twist the club quite a lot early on. Yeah. So now he's taking all the loft off the golf club and actually shutting the face. Okay. So if you did nothing from here, and let's just say you brought the club back down with no twist, you can see club face is pointing a little bit low and, and then I'll probably the do right. that right yeah and then you add things in to try and compensate for that kind of loss of loft yeah. and shut club face so everything that's, tries to go that's up. another thing that I feel I feel like sometimes I do that yeah yeah to try and combat it and then yeah. sometimes it works yeah yeah but majority of the time it doesn't yeah and you see the bit that goes up is almost like your part to save yourself yeah because there's a, a we don't want to over complicate things we want to try and keep it quite simple so just think it's going low right i need some loft and i need to square the face up a bit more yeah so just bring it back to about my hand again so about waist height just to there perfect i want you to focus on getting that club face pretty perpendicular to the ground, so more of like the toe up. If the toe is down, less lock. Close, yeah. This is a little bit more. So this is just really simple, just takeaway piece. Okay. You might focus on this little logo here or your watch yeah. pointing up more. That way? Yeah. That's probably overdone, but I'd rather you over exaggerate it to a little practice. bit to, to practice it at the start. Okay. So just do that one more time. Okay, that's good. And again. Good, that looks really good. Okay, we're gonna hit one now. Lucky, try again. Feel a bit different? Yeah. Yeah. I feel it's really different, actually. So just ever so slightly feeling that watch up to the sky. Good, so that one, it's like the opposite way a little bit now. Yeah. Definitely didn't have any of that hook spin on it did it yeah so you can see whatever you change there in that early phase change how the face was impacting the ball yeah exactly yeah i'll tell you one thing for me that when i right now where my game's at i just want to see my in an ideal world obviously yeah. fairway yeah but just 
down there in yeah. play, even if it's in the rough, mm. I feel confident from there yeah. that I can still get to the flag with my irons because yeah. I feel my iron play is good. Yeah. yeah, I'd work on club face really simply. Don't overcomplicate so like it. Yeah, just feeling like that watch is pointing up more to the sky. As simple as swinging back to here, that's it. That's oh, right. And just check where the face is, do it again. That's it. Just keep it as so simple as that. Yeah? Good. And then you can even rehearse that into a little practice swing and then hit one. That's it. Like Justin Thomas practices that really early part, doesn't he? Oh, okay. Right there. That's it. And then you go and hit. And then what I think on top of that, if you did start to see some go out that way, what that is, is you're almost your old release, like you hanging on to yeah. trying to add loft. So now you can just allow your hands What's and arms to release. I tell you, for me being a football yeah. player, yeah. I respond well to feel, Yeah. like as an, an analogy. Mm -hmm. You know, so for me, when I've seen like my practice swing, mm -hmm. my practice swing feels like my that's the way my real swing should be. Yeah. So, for example, mm. that's my practice swing. But I can't replicate that with my real swing. Yeah. And that's where I... But it, you, the more you do of that, though, in your practice... So okay. if those last two have gone a little bit left, add the same first move in, but react to it, try and bring it back now, okay. through the ball. Good try. That was better. Yeah. So educate yourself, like hit different shapes, like rights and lefts, like educate your hands to be able to figure yeah. out where the face is. So the practice for me then would just be like to there. Yeah, and then back through, square in it, that's it. Good. Happy with that? Yeah. Yeah? Not, I can't give you too much. Because you, 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 you might beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So a bit of a summary for that one for Jay. He had a little bit of a low right miss for him as a left-handed golfer. So straight away, got to go for the club face, doing anything that we can in that session there to square the club face a bit more, find a little bit of loft and just help him kind of generate a square impact. So just if you're trying to get your club face a little bit squarer and trying to find some loft, I'd start with a grip if you can. If you can't find it through the grip, try and find it early on in the swing and that's kind of the approach that we went with Jay because he's kind of got his grip, he's quite comfy with that. So got to find it in the swing, try and see the ball do something a little bit different and then after that, see if you can bring that ball back to where you want it to finish. Mm -hmm.